If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. The Eraser tool in Photoshop either erases pixels to transparency in layers without transparent pixel locking applied, or it applies the current background color when used in layers with transparent pixel locking applied. For example, if used within the default background layer of a standard Photoshop document that uses a white background and has partial pixel locking, the Eraser tool paints the current background color, which is white by default. Therefore, unless you changed the default background color, it looks as if it is erasing pixels. Alternatively, if you use this tool in a standard transparent image layer that doesn't have the lock transparent pixel setting applied, then it will erase any pixel over which you drag the tool to transparency. Because of this behavior, you must pay attention to the selected layer in the Layers panel and also the pixel locking status of the selected layer when using the Eraser tool in Photoshop to prevent unwanted behavior, like painting the background color in a layer that has transparent pixels locked. You can click to select a layer in the Layers panel in Photoshop and then look at the top of the Layers panel to see if the Lock Transparent Pixels button is selected. You can click the Lock Transparent Pixels button for a selected layer to toggle it on or off as needed, which we will examine in an upcoming chapter on layers later. To use the Eraser tool in Photoshop, select the Eraser tool from the Tools panel, where it shares a button with the Background Eraser tool and the Magic Eraser tool. The Tools panel shows the last of these tools you selected, so make sure you select the Eraser tool by clicking and holding down on this button, and then selecting the Eraser tool choice from the side menu that appears if needed. Then select the correct layer in the Layers panel, and check its transparent pixel lock status as needed, so you'll know which behavior to expect from the Eraser tool. If needed for the selected layer, then select the desired background color to paint in the Tools panel or Color panel. To then select which type of eraser tool tip to use in Photoshop, select a choice from the Mode dropdown in the Options bar control panel. Your choices are Brush, Pencil, or Block. If you select either the Brush or Pencil options, then the remaining options in the Options Bar Control Panel change to reflect those of either the Brush Tool or Pencil Tool, respectively. The Block setting simply shows a large block icon for the Eraser tool, with few other options you can set. You can then set the desired options the same way for either the Brush or Pencil choice as for the Brush Tool or Pencil Tool, which we will not discuss again for brevity's sake. Note that when setting the opacity for the Eraser tool in Photoshop, however, an opacity of 100% completely erases the existing content. To erase using the Eraser tool using its current settings, then click and drag in the selected layer to either erase the pixels to transparency or paint the current background color. The Eraser tool also contains a unique Erase to History checkbox in its Options Bar control panel, which lets you paint to restore pixels within a selected layer to a history state or snapshot 
selected as the source within the History panel. To toggle the History Eraser on or off in Photoshop, click the Erase to History checkbox in its Options Bar control panel. If enabled, then click to the left of the desired history state or snapshot to use as the basis for the pixels to restore using the History Eraser tool within the History panel. You should see an icon for the History Brush tool appear to the left of the selected history state or snapshot. Then click and drag with the Eraser tool in the selected layer to erase to restore the data from the selected snapshot or history state source within the selected layer. The action then appears as a new History Eraser state within the list of History states in the History panel. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.